Hello, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to make a semantic search engine with Python and I hope you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on social media, GitHub, YouTube and LinkedIn. So, but what is semantic search engine? And what is the main difference with, in fact, traditional search engines? So semantic search engine, in fact, tries to improve the search accuracy by understanding the query's intent and contextual meaning. So it isn't just like traditional search engines, just the, in fact, frequency of the words or length of the document or just that. No, it is the intent and the contextual meaning of the whole sentence that you submit so for example you might say i want to learn integration or how can i calculate the area under a curve so it might suggest you okay go and learn calculus without saying the word cal calculus in your query so that's what semantic search engine does so for this tutorial i use a data set from pubmed together with Hugging Face and Transformers. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is in fact uh, install the library called Sentence Transformers. In fact, we use Sentence BERT, which is kind of a, a version of BERT which has been trained on pair of sentences. So it has a really good ability in uh, to understand the context of the whole sentence which is really good and that's exactly what we want after installing that which i already installed it you need to just read this csv file which i will put it into my github and link is in the description you can check it out and download it from there just a quick watch of what it contains in fact, it contains the title of about 100k uh, articles from PubMed website, which is mainly in the field of biology. So it has, you uh, here in this CSV, you have 100,000, uh, in fact, rows, which are just titles of different papers. So... We will read it here, just five, the first five titles, as you can see here. And then what we need to do is, in fact, first of all, we import the sentence transformers and the utility function. I'm not using uh, GPU here, so don't worry. And for the model here in sentence transformer, this model LA. BSE is the one which I'm using because I can say this that one is by far the most accurate one but if you like to try the other ones just feel free to go and visit the sentence bird or sentence transformer website or github and check out the other models and just change the name here and then see what will happen and what will happen to the overall accuracy so here i'm going to in fact start training and as you can see here it first tries to load the model if you have it in cache if not it will download it and then cache it and then load it and it uses the model in order to in fact encode all the uh, in fact texts that you have in your corpus in your document but here because it takes some time i'm just using instead of all 100k titles i'm just using 200 and it will convert all of them into tensors as you can see and yeah it's done so we have all these 200 documents uh, turned and converted into tensors or embeddings which is a kind of you can say it's a kind of 
putting them all into a kind of vector space. And once done, you can define a search function, which, which what it does, in fact, it gets your query and then encodes it with the same model. And then it will use utility function in order to search throughout that space, which is kind of imagine the first one which uh, we used here, right here. In fact, where is it? Corpus embedding. This is the vector space with a bunch of vectors. So the next one, which is the query of the user, will be given to the model and we will make the model will make a kind of vector out of it and then use that vector and search that vector in fact the nearest vectors in that vector space and we'll find all those nearest ones and then return all of them to, to uh, return all of them back to the user so it's a kind of let's say clustering in the vector space and I will run this section as well. And then, so, in fact, this uh, also, I should mention that this data set consists of, for example, the titles like COVID, vitamin D, I don't know, stroke, heart disease, cancer, so on and so forth. So what we can use, what we can say as a query in order to search through all that available documents titles is for example what is the effect of vitamin d on covid 19 so let's search so here are the all the nearest in fact documents in all that vector space it is not bad acceptable but let's and also this model this model is a kind of multilingual model which has been trained over hundred languages so it's not just english you can have the query in other languages like germany which will give us roughly the same results in persian hindi so on and so forth but the thing is why the results are not that much accurate so it's clear because here we use just 200 documents instead of all hundred thousand documents so because it takes a lot of time so previously i just trained them all with gpu which roughly takes about 10 20 minutes and i made this uh, in fact pytorch file and i will put that one as well into my github which is about over i think 300 megabytes so what you can do is first of all load that uh, effect pytorch embedding like this and if you're using cpu just make sure that you're adding this piece of code if you're not just remove it feel free to remove it and again i just changed the search function uh, search name uh, here to one search one and i change the the previous one was corpus embedding so i change it with corpus embedding one which is here which is the full as i said the full vector space of all hundred thousand in fact the article titles so i will run it and then again query which makes much more sense what is it the query was what is the effect of vitamin d on COVID-19 and the nearest articles is our effect of vitamin D on course of COVID-19, vitamin D for COVID-19, where are we now, so on and so forth. And also the Persian version, which is roughly the same, and the Indy one, which is again much more accurate. So as I said, this is really easy and fast. And as you can see, it, it returns 10 queries in, in roughly about, I don't know, less than 1 over 10 seconds, which is really amazing. So it's kind of really fast, efficient way of making a kind of semantic search engine. 
Yep, I hope you'll like it. Stay tuned.